Um, you shared with us uh, several thoughts about uh, chess and, um, and uh, football. Um, if you pick out uh, what was uh, the most essential thing you shared with us, the most interesting thought you uh, and why you think it's... Uh uh, I think the most interesting in this uh, circumstance is perhaps what we can learn from football actually. Because after all, they're they're extremely success, successful in uh, making people uh, being interested in their game, and it's a reason for that. Yeah. So all the psychological aspects, uh, and also all the psychological aspects that a trainer has to perform to make his uh, players good. Motivation. So, so yes, motivation. Human understanding, human insight, all yeah. those things is very relevant because uh, as a chess coach you, all, you also have to make people good. I think it's only chess technical coaching uh, what you see around. So it can bring more the psychological aspect yeah, I'm, of I'm, coaching? I'm basically interested in the psychological aspects yeah. and, uh, and I'm sure it's a lot to learn from clever football players. They're, they're probably the best in the, in the, in the field. In so what you learn from from your football coach, for example, you used in coaching Magnus Carlsen. Yes, I did so any, uh, any guy could have trained Magnus just technically, yes. but you were added value uh, was the psychological uh, I part. I think lots of people have trained Magnus uh, uh -huh. in chess. Magnus had lots of chess trainers. Yeah. And, uh, and that's good because we all have a little bit, uh, I have my things, uh, and the other, all the other trainers he's trained with has, has their things. It's not confusing, it, it, there's no, extra no, fusion. You can learn something from everyone in that aspect yeah. and, uh, and uh, uh, suck what you got, you, you can from everyone, take yeah. take a little bit from here and there, and then that I think that's a good approach. Okay, so the football player world does more in this respect, and the chess players could learn from it, but also the other way around. Uh, if footballers can learn from chess, uh, yes. Uh, if if it's, if it's true that the footballers really don't really use their brain very much, they certainly have to start doing it because that's essential for for also their football playing. I'm absolutely sure. But not only for understanding uh, uh, football tactics, but also for understanding what to do to make himself perform very well. Mm -hmm. uh, because the psychological, after all, chess players are good at uh, the psychological aspects because the brain is our tool more so yeah. uh, what what we do with our brain to perform well is, is relevant for football players too but I, I also uh, always wondered why there is so uh, little literature about this uh, aspect so there is a lot of opening books etc but not bo much books about chess and psychology uh, yes chess and psychology is certainly important uh, football and chess I heard there is an, uh, actually a book about football and chess too I didn't know that existed but uh, uh, I don't know are there many books about uh, uh, there should be many books about football and psychology, psych psychology too because there, there are, you have lots of topics uh, with the trainers disturbing, uh, with the teammates uh, disturbing your, your way of thinking. <laughs> yeah, there are group processes there, yeah. of course. Huh? Group processes are very important. Some teams underperform because the group process, yes. like the Dutch national team, I come from Holland, and they are under, I think the group process in the national team was very bad. Uh -huh. I'm sure there's a lot of things to achieve uh, on the psychological aspect. Yeah, yeah. for football players, uh, especially since the, it's, it's sociology is not only psychology, but it's, uh, they're part of uh, a group and how the group works and so on. Yeah. It's also uh, extremely important, of course. I think uh, we, uh, we are, I stopped the interview now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just interviewing him for the conference. But I think, uh, thanks. Okay. Thank you.